So you know there are choruses that we sing as choruses, right? And then, have you ever found a chorus in a hymnal and, and been a little bit shocked? Like, what's it doing in a hymnal? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have one. <laughs> but I only found it in the new hymnal. I, I don't remember it being in the old hymnal. Oh, how I love Jesus. Mm. You know? Because mm. those verses were new to me. Totally new. I mean, we had it connected to something else yeah. when we were kids. Oh, friend, do you love Jesus? Mm. Is not oh, the verse? I used to hate that. In the hymnal. <laughs> when my generation came along, it wasn't just, oh, friend, do you love Jesus? It was lean forward, lean backwards, to oh the left, to the word. right. Wow. <laughs> That's how it evolved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So she's trying to say that we come from different generations. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn our eyes upon Jesus, <laughs> rather, and look yes. full in His wonderful face. Amen. Him, two hundred and ninety. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look. Because I just remembered there are verses to this hymn. I mean, to this chorus that we just sang. But before we get there, this is why I'm torn. Because more importantly, welcome back, Samantha and Siobhan. <laughs> We're so glad to have you back with us. And um, yeah, you're still Nolan's cousins, eh? <laughs> are you still? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus has verses and it was one of those hymns that I was a bit shocked when I saw it in the hymnal because when we were growing up, we just sang the chorus. Um, Siobhan, why did you choose it? Well, I've always enjoyed singing the chorus and when I found it in the hymnal, I was quite surprised as well. But the chorus is what actually drew me um, to choosing the song. Because we live in a world filled with distractions. And if we turn our eyes upon Jesus, the things of the world mm. grow dumb. And that is why I chose it. Mm. Oh, that's so beautiful. Let's sing together <laughs> hymn number 290. All the verses and the chorus. Oh, soul, are you weary and troubled? Wonderful face 
so beautiful that, to know that he takes us away from everything that seems to be inevitably on our path in this world. And it reminds me of Psalm 23 where it says, you lead us me beside still waters and only he can restore our souls. We need to look at him and, and, and find that peace and that rest and that um, restoration in him. And I, the next him, makes me think especially about that he leadeth me and I don't know when last you have sung it I know in my church we haven't sung it in a while but you did say that you've <laughs> sung it a few times in yeah, in your church, church. yeah 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 in 537 he leadeth me um yeah let's 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 see Jesus lead us away from all of this and straight to his loving arms in 537. Since 
It's nice to have someone to lead us, to guide us as we go on our way, right? Samantha, you chose as water to the thirsty. That is hymn 460. Do you want to tell us why you chose as water to the thirsty? Um, that song is, has become a family favorite because my late best friend's late mom <laughs> on a deathbed, um, she taught it to us as a family. and But the words in itself is so perfect. Like we have all these metaphors and um, all of that, all the, those positive attributes that they speak about, that is what God is to me. There's so much, it's, there's so much hope in that song. Um, you'll hear it when you sing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Samantha. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, can I just speak to our viewers Please for do. a second? You will remember in an episode at some point, we, we had this hymn in the rarely sung category. Um, so now don't put us in the eyes. No, you must not have an opportunity <laughs> to learn it. Um, Samantha has encouraged us to, to allow ourselves to experience the imagery. I mean, that, that I find really, really interesting. Let's do that. Hymn 460 as water to the thirsty. As water to the thirsty, as beauty to the eyes, as strength that follows weakness, as truth instead of lies, as song time and spring time and summer time to be, so is my myself asking this question when we get to this part of the episode. So we're going to do a rarely sung or new, completely new hymn. This to me was not completely new, but it is rarely sung in my experience. Nolan, you chose it though. Why? So I have a CD at home that has Kurt singing it, Kurt Hardy. And when that when I heard that, I thought, oh, but I know this. And I've sung it at various churches, like way back. But it's not something that our church sings, to my knowledge. And so I just thought, yeah, let's put it on the list here and make it something that I hopefully becomes something that everybody learns and wants to sing more at their own churches. 
Beautiful. So let's do just that. Him 441. I saw one weary. Do not be deterred by the number of words on the page. <laughs> there are a lot of words. And if that is a challenge for you, then you just sing the melody. And then you, you don't have to think about what you're singing. And just see, sing. Then you can see the words. Hopefully. Enjoy him 441 with us. Him along with us. So one weary, sad and torn, with eager steps press on the way, who long the hallowed cross had borne, still looking for the promised day. While many a line of grief and care upon his brow. sermon it the is the first three <laughs> verses uh, is, uh, it's telling a story about somebody you mm. know and then you know just like a good preacher brings it together <laughs> at the <laughs> end and now it's applied to us because we're in the last verse while pilgrims here we journey on in this dark veil of sin and gloom through tribulation hate and scorn or through the portals of the tomb Till our returning king shall come to take his exile captives home. Oh, what can buoy the spirits up? Mm. Tis this alone, the blessed hope. Mm. I've got some work to do. Mm. Because when I'm struggling and when things are not going my way, I don't quote or think about the blessed hope. So this hymn's challenging me to lift my spirits, think about the blessed hope we have. Mm. We will see Jesus one day. He will remove us from this troubled world. You're saying uh, how, how you have work to do in praising God when things are difficult. Our next hymn is a prayer. Oh, for a heart to praise my God 
a heart from sin set free, a heart that always feels thy blood, feels thy blood so freely shed for me. I, words, man. <laughs> words. Siobhan, why did you choose this hymn? Well, this song has also been sung quite a bit around the house by my brother, sometimes whistling it as well. But the words that you just mm. mentioned now is really a prayer. It's the mm. prayer of my heart, and I'm sure it's the prayer of all of ours here, that God would give us this heart to praise him. We don't have to have the most melodious voices, mm. but the heart is what he sees Absolutely. and yeah. what he wants. A heart from sin set free. Mm. Yes, it's... Let's sing together. Him. Oh 323. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Him 323. Please sing with us. Oh, for a heart to praise my God. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Nolan. Thank you. <laughs> so terrible to say this because it cannot be true we're at the end of today's episode and i just feel overwhelmingly that we have been we've been so blessed by the choices and the sharing from the i can't call them africa they are africa sisters they were africans um but i feel really blessed we have been really blessed at Him Along to have you share your favorite hymns and to share your 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 words of I can only find the word encouragement. Mm. Um, I feel very encouraged. Thank you for sharing with us, Samantha and Siobhan. And we hope to see you sometime in the future. Um, Nolan will see you next Sabbath <laughs> at lunch. Um, <laughs> Nolan, thank you for being Nolan <laughs> and for being here with us on Him Along. Samantha? Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> are you saying thank you, Lisa, or are you saying thank you to me? I'm For you thanking me, I thank you. <laughs> for you being here, I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Overthinkers <laughs> Anonymous. Um, <laughs> to close, we're going to use hymn number... 195. Here we go. I am back. <laughs> <laughs> hymn 
Hymn 195, Showers of Blessing. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't only need to sing certain <coughs> songs when it's raining. Mm. Yes. We need that shower. And we plead for that shower today. So will you hymn along with us as we sing hymn number 195? There shall be showers of blessing, this is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing, sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again, over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain. this episode of him along as much as i have and would like to join us on a future episode please send us an email to the address listed on the screen leave a like subscribe share with all your friends and we'll see you next time